Welcome to this demo of Connected Sheets. We'll show you how Connected Sheets combines the power and scale of BigQuery with the simplicity of a spreadsheet, making it easy for anyone to analyze data at an unprecedented scale. You can now access, analyze, and visualize billions of rows of BigQuery data in Sheets without requiring any SQL knowledge. Organizations that are increasingly awash with data can now apply familiar Sheets tools like pivot tables, charts, and formulas to easily derive insights from big data with a live connection to BigQuery. We see many teams and industries benefiting from connected sheets, including finance, marketing, and operations teams, to name a few. For this video, we'll focus on Chicago taxi data, but encourage you to try it out on your own data to really experience the power of connected sheets in a context most relevant for you. So let's get started and connect to our data set. First, open up a new sheets file, go to the data menu, and at the bottom, you'll see data connectors with the option to connect to BigQuery. Once you do that, you'll be asked to choose a BigQuery project. I can search my projects here and then select any project that has billing enabled. In this example, I'll choose the Connected Sheets demo project. Here, I see all data sets that are available in this project. We see both private data sets that are specific to this cloud project, as well as public data sets that are available for anyone to analyze. For this demo, let's choose the public data sets. Here, I see some interesting data sets for analysis. For example, bike share programs, crime data, baseball stats, etc. Let's search for taxi data. And let's use the Chicago taxi data set. I'll click on taxi trips. You'll notice I didn't write any SQL. All I did was choose that table. That's all it takes to make a connection to the full data set. Now, here we see us successfully connected with 191 million rows and 23 columns, which would be over a billion cells in a traditional spreadsheet. Now what I see here is a preview of the full data set where I can scroll over and see all of the columns and sample data in the data set. If I want, I can filter and sort this preview as well in order to explore the data set and understand more about what's in this table. Now let's do some analysis using Sheets functions. At the top of the preview tab, I see the function button. Clicking on it, shows me all the functions that are available for me to use to analyze my data in BigQuery. I see things like average, count diff, sum if, min, max, etc. To use them, I can click on one directly. Let's say I'd like to see the number of taxi companies in Chicago. I can use count unique. So let's click on that. Let's add it to a new sheet. And then let's choose company. Now let's hit apply and we'll run this against the entire 191 million rows of data in BigQuery. Now it looks like there are 164 distinct taxi companies. Let's try another way. Let's say I want to know what the percentage of taxi rides include a uh, tip. Now to do that, I can use a count if where taxi trips are greater than zero. Let's hit apply. And here we see about 73 million rides that included a tip. So let's copy that formula over. And now let's do a count if where the fare is greater than zero. We'll hit apply again, and we see 190 million rows. So if we write our formula, we can see that there's approximately 38% of the rides in Chicago included a tip. Now let's do some analysis using Sheets charts. To get started with charts, I'll click on the charts button at the top of the connected Sheets preview. Let's now insert the chart on a new sheet. Here, I see my chart editor, and I can get started building my chart. First, I like to see what forms of payment people are using for their rides. I can choose whatever chart type I like. In this case, I'd like to see a pie chart, so let me select that. Then, on the right, I can see the various columns in my data set. I can drag them over into the different inputs. So let's drag payment type over into label, and then drag fare over into value. Let's turn sum into count, and then let's click apply. We now create this chart against the 191 million rows in BigQuery, and we see here that the results look like cash beats out credit cards 60% to 40%. However, if we instead change from count to sum, we can weight the chart by fair amount, and then we see that cash just slightly edges credit cards, implying credit cards have higher fares on average. So you can see it's pretty easy to create a chart. Again, no SQL required. 
Now let's say I'm curious about Chicago taxi rides over time. Let's go back to my preview. I'll click the chart button again, and let's insert this chart on another new sheet. Instead of a pie chart, let's change it into a line chart. For my x-axis, I'll drag over trip start timestamp, and we'll see a new option here called group by. With group by, I can roll updates into higher level units. For example, I have the option of rolling up by hour, by day of week, by month, etc. So let's do a roll up by year and month to see how taxi revenue is changing over time. Let's drag in fare into series and then hit apply. Now I should get back a time series for how taxi ridership has changed over time. Interesting, looks like overall revenue peaked in 2015 and has been on the decline since. What if I want to filter my results to focus on a particular payment type? For example, how has mobile payments changed over time? To do that, let's add a filter, choose text contains, and then input mobile. Now, when I hit apply, I can see that mobile payments and taxis is in a steady increase. Let's try our hand at doing some analysis using pivot tables. To get started, let's return to our preview, click on the pivot table button, and insert it onto a new sheet. On the left, we see our pivot table placeholder, and on the right, we see our pivot table editor. I'm interested in understanding which time of day do we see the most rides. So to do that, I'm going to drag trip start timestamp into my rows, and then I'm going to do a group by using hour of day. Then I'll drag fare into values. Let's make this a, a count rather than a sum, and then we'll hit apply to run this. So it looks like 18, which is 6 p.m., sees the most taxi rides. Now what if we were to break it out by day of week as well? So let's drag trip start timestamp into columns and do a group by day of week. Now let's hit apply. And this will give us a breakout by both hour of day and day of week. To make this easier to read, let's adjust the number formatting. And then let's apply some conditional formatting. We can use what's called color scale and we can make the high values green and then the low values white. Now we see something else. It looks like during the week, rides are most frequent during the morning and evening rush hour, while on the weekend nights, rides are most frequent into the early hours of the morning. What about the most expensive times for taxis? To do that, let's change from count to average and we'll see what happens when we hit apply there. Now we see a different pattern. Looks like the most expensive taxi rides are early in the morning, especially on Monday. Perhaps business travelers taking long rides to catch an early business flight. You can make many different kinds of pivot tables using connected sheets. Now, let's jump over to a tab where I see number of rides by payment type. Let's say I wanted to see the top five taxi companies by revenue per payment type. I can simply drag in company, change number of rows from all to five to limit to the top five. I also will then change the sort to sort by sum of fare rather than the default, which is alphabetical. And we'll make it descending rather than ascending to sort from highest to lowest. When I hit apply here, I'll see the top five highest grossing taxi companies per payment type. So these are a few examples of how you can use pivot tables to analyze millions or even billions of rows of data in BigQuery. By default, Connected Sheets shows you a preview of 500 rows of raw data in BigQuery. However, if you want to import more raw data from BigQuery into Sheets, you can use the Extract function. To do this, click on Extract from the Preview Sheet. So let's say I want to import the 25,000 most recent taxi rides. I can choose the columns I want to import and then specify any filters um, and also how I want to sort it. So let's say I want to sort by trip start timestamp, descending, and then specify how many rows I want to import, hit apply, and this will import the raw data from BigQuery into Sheets. Connected Sheets also allows you to create what are called calculated columns. These are new columns you can add that are transformations or combinations of other columns in the data set. It's easy to create your own. Simply click the Add Calculated Column button from the Connected Sheets preview. You can see the columns available to use on the right, as well as the various functions you can use in your formula. You can also see some example calculated columns by clicking on the question mark at the top. In this case, I want to create a calculated column that calculates tip percentage. 
So let's name it tip percentage. And then we can write out our formula. In my case, I'll write if fair greater than zero, tips divided by fair times 100, otherwise zero. Then click add to see the column added to the preview. If I hit apply, I'll now see the column calculated for each row in my preview. Additionally, this calculated column will be available throughout Connected Sheets, meaning you can use it in charts, pivot tables, functions, and extracts. By default, all the analysis you do in Connected Sheets remains unchanged until you decide to refresh it. So even if the data is changing in BigQuery, your charts, pivot tables, and your formula values will not change unexpectedly without your control. Each item provides the date that it was last updated, and you have the option to hit refresh button to update each item individually. Alternatively, you can click the refresh options from the top of the preview, which will open up the refresh options sidebar. And from there, you can choose refresh all to make sure all connected sheets analyses are updated to the latest data. You can also choose to schedule a refresh by clicking the setup now under the scheduled refresh section. Say that you want to update your report every day, every week, or every month. You can also specify what time of day, or day of week, or day within the month that you want to be refreshed. This allows you to refresh your report on a regular basis without you manually doing any refreshing yourself. For those who are familiar with SQL, we have another option called Query Parameters. This allows you to create a SQL query that contains references to data that lives in particular cells in your file. For example, let's say I have this Chicago taxi report that I've built with a dropdown that shows different taxi companies in Chicago. I can write a query that will then update depending on the value in that dropdown. To do this, let's edit my underlying query. So if I go back to my preview and click the gear icon, I can choose Write Custom Query at the bottom. Here, we can see that what we really have is a simple select star from a particular table query. Let's make this a little more advanced by adding a where clause and say where company equals. And I'll go to the right and choose add under query parameters, select my dashboard sheet, and then click on the cell within that dropdown. So now my results are going to be a select star from the Chicago taxi table where company equals the value in that dropdown. Let's update my report now. Let's change the dropdown value open up the refresh options, also available from each individual item's overflow menu, and then click refresh all to update this report. If I change the company again and hit refresh all again, we can see the report again changes based on the new value being passed into the query.